It is a rainy, silvery, dark, cloudy morning. It's been raining all night long. The rain always makes me sleep really good, so I feel refreshed. I feel awesome today. Speaking of today, I'm headed down to the Automobile Driving Museum. We got a meeting down there to discuss some potential future business for this year. And since there probably won't be any cool cars along the drive, there's bound to be some cool ones there. Are you a, a rain person or a summer person? I am a summer person, but I'm from the East Coast, so I love the rainy days. If yeah. I could stay home and watch a movie in my PJs. Which you're not no. doing right mm -hmm. now. But that sounds really good. <laughs> PJs exactly. and a movie. And then what would you watch? Oh, oh gosh. A anything. Anything. Anything any, a Shawshank at all. Redemption on Plate a rainy pasta, day. a glass of wine. With Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie. I can uh, watch really it every day. All right. So we got some stuff planned. Absolutely. We lots of some, stuff planned for 2017. Lots, lots of car shows, lots of amazing yes. cars. And speaking of cars, I'm going to go show you guys a couple of things. Fun. Okay. Enjoy. All right. This is Tony and Bill. We're at the ADM, and these guys are from Adelaide, Australia, which is a little ways further than I drove. Yes, it is. Okay. You guys came out to America to do what? Christmas holidays. Christmas holidays. And to uh, catch up with the car scene that we which is everywhere. Know, know about. But um, it's epic down there, right? Uh, it's a parallel universe, <laughs> to say the least. We've got quite a few toys at home. You showed uh, me a few. We we've, do. We've, we've got two or three toys, yeah. uh, one of them being an American car. Right. Uh, but you have something really interesting. I do. I yes. have a 72 Tirana, which is a Holden or a GM. I've never seen that car before. No, it raced in Bathurst. Uh, Peter Brock won in it in Bathurst in 72. What's something that you don't get to see a lot of down there? Um, I would say... Variety. Variety, the, the, the Chrysler. Chrysler. Yeah. And I've got a soft spot for Buicks. Okay. So the 51 Buick. All right, fantastic. And there's a club that you guys belong to. What's the club? Yes, we um, we belong to the Classic and Muscle Car Club of South Australia Incorporated. I okay. happen to be the uh, the president at the current nice. moment. Nice, awesome. And uh, we're doing a little bit of a fact finding uh, tour <laughs> for the club. Stealthy. <laughs> Very still. But you guys are leaving tomorrow. You're going to try to hit Donut Derelax, a couple other shows. Saturday, Saturday we're, we're, we're hoping to do oh, that. Oh, Saturday, yeah. right. Yeah, and then we have to head back. Mm, we'll head back. All right. Which is very sad. Anybody you want to say hi to? You got kids or anything? Hello, Madeline. She probably won't watch because she's not into the car scene. <laughs> <laughs> I snagged your folks. <laughs> very cool people in Australia. Why is it 
that people in Australia, everybody I've met, I can't even tell you someone that I have met from Australia that wasn't absolutely awesome. I don't know what it is. It's the Australian air. It's the love for cars. Australia, love it. Can't wait to go. I don't really have any plans to go to Australia just yet, but if, if I did, then I, I would go. Like, like right now. We do have some pretty spectacular plans planned for the, the ADM. They have so many shows uh, coming. One is the Tri-5 show that's going to be happening with Amazing Chevys that's coming up. And they do their Hot Wheel events. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot more stuff with these guys because they got sick cars and I'm going to drive them all. Reading the Malibu Times. This is the Malibu newspaper. It's been going on for 40, 50, 60 years. I don't know, a long, long time. The best part is always the police blotter. Basically, dumb things that people do each week. And there's there's a lot. I've gotten a couple of emails uh, from people uh, over time, actually quite a few of them, uh, that uh, ask really interesting questions. And, and one of them is, why do I do what I do? And I think that's, that's prefaced by uh, what, what do I do? You know, before I even get into, you know, why I do it, what, what is it that we do here? You know, and that led to, I actually wrote an article today for another newspaper and it opened up the, the idea of duality. And duality is, is to me, is taking two things together um, to create something unique. And you have one thing that you do and, you know, maybe you're a lawyer or, a, or you're a fireman or you're a designer and then you merge that with something else and then you come up with something completely fresh, almost like a fish out of water concept. And that's how Hollywood films are done. That's, that's how you create really great characters, is that you have uh, someone that you know you can identify as being somebody or something, and then you give him a spin, something that you didn't know about him that, that makes him unique. And that's really what we're all striving to do. You know, we're, we're I'm, I'm a car guy that loves the beach. You may be a car person that loves uh, cooking, or that loves uh, construction, or loves uh, travel. But as we identify those things, it, it allows us to, uh, to develop something unique and apply that to the world to give something positive to the world. So what do I do? Well, you know, I'm a designer and uh, I've been a car designer for many years. I've uh, designed 400 uh, film, you know, movie cars, thousands of commercials, all different kinds of things, you know, and I love designing, I love creating, but uh, but I'm also a filmmaker and I've been a filmmaker since I was a little kid. I was making little stop motion Star Wars movies, you know, when I was little. My passion was always cars, but it was cars as it relates to film because I grew up in a Hollywood family. Pretty much everyone in my world is in the film industry. So naturally, I, I I took cars as it pertains to movies, and that's essentially what I do now, is that I, I share with you guys unique content through film about cars and about beach life, and that's the duality. Now, there is something that I've uh, coined, which I, I'm not really sure I've ever heard before, and it might be a word, might not be a word, I'm not really sure, but that's the idea of triality. Triality is, is taking three components and putting them together to make up something unique, and, and for me it would be cars, movies, and food specifically chocolate. Now, why do I do what I do? I, I love interacting with you guys. I love being able to make films and, you know, for a long time I re made normal kinds of films and shot lots of commercials and things like that. But there's a separation between where I am sitting here and you guys. There's never been until now, until the concept of a vlog, to be able to interact. Now, you have a reality show and a reality show is basically the camera it's on two people talking and they do their stuff and they cause trouble. But a vlog is different. A vlog allows me to interact with you guys and to be able to ask you guys questions, be able to, you, for you to ask me questions and for us to interact and share my life and be able to uh, to hear your stories. And today's vlog with those Australian guys was an example of that. They got, you know, gave me a little bit of a story of who they are and what they did. So I do this, I do all this because I love it. And it's important for you to follow what you love. In fact, it's the utmost importance to, to be able to, to uh, identify in your life the one thing that you love more than anything else and follow that despite what all the doctor knows say. And the world is full of successful people that have done exactly that. It doesn't mean you gotta go to high school or go to college. Or, there, there's no rules. All you gotta do is find that one thing that you love and follow through on it and keep doing it. Be persistent and don't give up until you get exactly what you want. And remember, 
You always have a choice. You're never without a choice. Even not making a decision is a choice. And in the words of Dr. Seuss, although I'm shifting a little bit, people are people, no matter how cool. And that's today's vlog, people. Thanks for watching. Join us on all the socials. You know where we are. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and about 50 others. And of course, like always, we will see you tomorrow.